So, Moho Pro 12, or for all you old school people out there, Anime Studio Pro. What can I say, man? This program has served me very well. Now, I'd say, you know, Moho Pro is probably like the entry level to animation. You know, easy to use, easy to understand, and there's so much, so much room for growth. So it's very user friendly, even at a very basic level. So if you've never animated before, it's really easy to get to grips with. So for example, I mean, if you've never animated before and you tried to use, I don't know, 3DS Max or Blender or anything like that, you'd have a really hard time because it's a crazy hard, big learning curve. But Moho Pro 12, you can't go wrong. I mean, take it from somebody who came from using Microsoft Paint and Windows Movie Maker to make animations. So before I go on further, let me tell you where you can get it. So if you type in Moho Pro on Google, click this link, and then you'll see it right here. So as you can see, there's two options right here for you. So you can start off with a 30 day trial to see if it's right for you and get to grips with it. Or you can just dive right in there and get yourself a digital download for $400. I know what you're thinking, $400, that's nuts. But mate, that's years and years and years of animation and who knows what you can create. Who knows what you'll go on to do? Who knows what career path this might open up for you? Do you know what I mean? So keep an open mind. You know, here's Moho Pro easy on the eye, easy to navigate, easy to drag and drop audio, easy to drag and drop PNGs or JPEG files to draw from. So if you're anything like me and you've got no artistic skill in terms of being able to draw something from scratch and being able to tap into your third eye or your memory of something, you don't have to, you know? You can go to Google and search for the image you wanna draw. Save it, drag and drop it into Moho, there you go. Part of the process isn't just researching for assets and downloading them. Another part is researching for styles as well. The internet is huge. Go through and have a look for different styles and see which one takes your interest. Ask yourself, who do you aspire to be like? What kind of style do you want to draw like? One thing I've learned from this process is that, yo, absolutely nothing on this planet is original, nothing. Everybody takes something from everybody, even a small element and they take that small element and make it a spark to create their own fire. That's it. So one thing I will point out is that, you know, this is a very simple and easy program, but what you will find difficulty with is lack of direction and lack of vision if you don't do research beforehand to know exactly what you want to do and exactly what you want to create. So this is going to be a very basic tutorial, you know, so if you're just starting out and you're interested in doing some animation, this is scratching the surface. If you're looking for something more advanced, you know, give Google a search, give YouTube a search. But for this, this is just entry level stuff with a few tips and hints that I haven't really seen on any other tutorial series. So if you've got Moho Pro ready to go, let's do it.